Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric with One Number, and in today's short tutorial, I want to cover how can you color only the totals in your Tableau worksheet. Um, this is a student posed by a question, um, so I appreciate that. You're always welcome to ask me questions and try and uh, find answers to them. So let's say we've got a scenario like this, and I just want to color the total, you know, one color if it's above 50,000, and another color if it's below 50,000, and I do not want the individual cells colored. So one quick option I have for this is I, my initial solution was, can we set it up so if there's only a single category, then it says uh, that's not a total. And if there's multiple categories, it is a total. Okay. So the way this would work is I'll say, uh, you know, total goal. And so the calculation, get out of the way here, it would look like this. So if the count distinct of the category field is one, then not a total, right? If it's only the office supplies value, it's not a total. Else if uh, sum of sales is greater than or equal to 50,000, then met sales goal. Uh, else if sum of sales is less than 50,000, then missed sales goal. All right. Uh, hmm. I just thought about something else I'm going to need to do here because if I just try and put this on color right now, it's just going to color the text and I want it to color the background, but this is a dimensional value. So it's going to create squares. I'm not going to take too long to explain this, but you can go back and watch this part quickly if you want to. So what I will often do then is create a calculated field called one. That's just the minimum of the number one. I changed my mark type to bar. And then I put that minimum of one on size. And then with just a little bit of tinkering here, so, uh, put the size slider up, add some borders in the color tab in the marks card. I've effectively got a highlight table. Uh, so now I'm gonna edit my colors. So not a total, click on that, change that to white. Uh, met sales goal, missed sales goal, those look all right. So there you go. So I've got a mostly functional approach to coloring only the total, uh, but there is one issue with this. So I'm looking at sales by category by state, and most states have sales for all three categories, but dun, 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 not every one of them, right? Unfortunately, North Dakota and Wyoming, why did you do this to us? Uh, those didn't work. Okay, so there is an alternative to this, which would just be creating an individual calculation for each of the four columns that I wanna show here. So like I would have furniture sales and office supply sales and so on. So I'll just try and do this part quickly. So here I would just say, if category equals furniture, then sales. Right, I'm gonna duplicate that a couple times and we'll just use that same template for office supplies. And finally for technology. Okay, so then I'm thinking the way this would work, I'm gonna take category off of columns. So instead we'll put, let me think about this, uh, where are our fields, furniture sales, that'll go on text first. Uh, office supplies, I'll double click on that. Technology, I'll double click on that. And then just sales. And we could probably alias sales to be total sales if we wanna be real official about this, but I think this is fine. So now I need to color just the last column, but not the other columns. So I think there's a way with some um, custom uh, colors, conditional formatting, we could do this. So I'm gonna get a copy of measure values, put that on color in the marks card, change my mark type to square. The measure values that's on color, I'm gonna go here to the pill, hit the drop down, use separate legends. So now the overall sales figure, this is where I can set it the way we had the other one so that we're gonna set a center point of 50,000. And then if I wanna make it only just strictly two colors, then I could just say stepped color 
just two of them. And then we could adjust that orange later. The other ones are a little bit trickier. Um, I would need to edit the colors here. And then I want to see what happens if I just pick like a range like that. It is putting a little gray in there. So I may have to get a, a bit custom with this. Um, I think I've done like custom sequential palettes in the past that are all white. Um, hmm. I have to tinker with this a little bit and see if I can get it just right. I'll probably just get it as close as I can for now and not have this video run on too long. But essentially, yeah, if I did two stepped colors with a white on either end, then it would get that column to be white. So I'll just have to go through these each. Okay, uh, I need diverging ideally. Two colors and then customize it by clicking those values at the end and then just picking white from our options. If you want to drop grid lines in there, you probably can, maybe doing some formatting, uh, but I'll probably leave it here. Not quite fully finished. So those are a couple different ideas for coloring only the totals in your worksheet. And uh, yeah, I hope that's helpful. I hope that uh, answers a question that you had and gives you an idea for which solution uh, might be best for your scenario. So thanks for dropping in and checking this video out. And we look forward to catching you on another tutorial here very soon.